Tanto. Hey Wicked Army, Wicked here and welcome to PUBG Mobile episode. Today's episode is super special guys. We have Wolfpack Kaboom showing his skills in a live stream that I did for PUBG Mobile official. There's a few thousand people watching at the time because the release of EPP just came out on the day of the stream. So in the last bit of the stream guys, he clutched a game, uh, solo versus squads. And he gave you some pro tips right at the end. Um, he was roughly around nine kills at the time. And he did predict some final circles, so he has a bit of a theory on how to predict the final circles. He'll let you know in the video, and he'll also give you some tips on how to clutch at the end, especially if you're solo versus squads. Uh, me and Jason got wiped out at school at the beginning because we didn't have a gun, and there were a few people that land at the same zone, um, and then we got caught with our pants down with no gun, and uh, that was the end Absolutely. of that. So Kaboom went a little bit further on and ended up clutching the game with us, uh, for us actually. And if you guys want to check him out, he has a great commentary voice and also uh, he does host some custom games as well. So go down to the link in below, uh, www.twitch.tv slash Kaboom TV. It's all in the description. And with that being said, let's go on with the video. Make sure you smack that like button guys. Later. And the smokes are pretty effective in the update as well. Like it's less yeah, opacity. Yeah, it's like it's effective. the first opacity is like hardly hardly any. So, dude, I love the smokes now. They're awesome. They're super effective now. It's really good. Naturally, a lot of people will gravitate towards up there, um, in this circle. But I'm going to avoid it because it is a focal point of the map right now, and I'm trying to play as. Sneaky snacky as possible unless I have easy an easy fight. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you're going against squads. Exactly. It's not I don't need to just worry about killing one person, I need to worry about killing four. So let's see. I've noticed that immobile as well, the drops almost dictate the direction that the next zone is gonna be. Um so for for instance, our drop is here, right? To the west. If we look at the map. I don't know if you can see the map. Up at the map. Um, yeah. It'll. That's leading me to believe that it's going to. The next circle is going to be towards that end. So we'll see once the next circle comes in if that's right. Um, so the big problem now is that I've got two points of high ground that I'm not on. These guys over here on this ridge, and then these guys so that could be over here on this ridge. So I've got to play this as carefully as possible. Um, I play lower ridge here, protects me from the south. And no, I'm pretty confident in being able to fight somebody up there. Out yeah, there. that's good. We're just slowly making our way through Razak. It's get get as central as possible because I don't want to have to long rotate and so. Yeah. Staying in low profile. Constantly scanning the horizon while I'm running. Like, I need to check this building here, because those windows would have complete sight line on me. I didn't realize you found a scope. Yeah, I found an 8 eggs. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now there's shots coming from this direction. Um, smartest move for me right now is to let them fight. Let them junk each other out. Um, that's very close to me. That's going to be probably in three story on the opposite side of the warehouse. Yeah. That's where I would be if I had a sniper rifle. So yeah, as I said, if you look at the map, the next zone is where that drop land. Beautiful. It's, it's kind of beautiful, but it also at the same time is really crappy. <laughs> I rotated too far. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find this guy on top of this roof. Tips from the pros. Biggest tip in first person is to avoid silhouetting, um, being the tallest thing on the horizon. So if someone's standing on top of that hill, I see their silhouette and I can see that from forever away. That, so you want to kind of avoid that. That's why a lot of crouching when you're cresting hills uh, is pretty useful. Fight soon. Your shot from this direction. Silent. Yeah, I see them on the map. So my 
best route right now is going to be to wrap the blue into the zone. Um, hopefully it will leave me out of majority of the fights. I might have to run through Ross off. Shots Press. coming from um, down here, right here. Yeah, they, yeah you see it. Oh, oh that's that so close. He knows where I am now, so what I need to do is smoke. Get the hell out of here, because I have no cover. There's another guy right here. I'm getting shot from on top, so we're going to go ahead and drop another smoke. You got a corner there. Yeah, we're good. The guy had a ghillie. Six seconds till the blaze zone moves. They are all over the place. Remember, it's first person, so I can use the tilt to my. Yeah. Super close. Dropped off. I'm silhouetted right now. Really close from here. One in, the, one in the building. Bring specs to cover there. Yeah, because that's where I'm going to go. Three left. It's gonna be clutch. Everyone's silent, like everyone's in hearts racing right now. My heart's racing, no lie. I hear that silent shot. I'm gonna have to do the whip for this shot. It's a car 98 with the tree. Yeah, I see him. He doesn't see me. Oh, they're, he's playing something else. Yep. One vs one. There's also someone here. One vs one. Oh, he sees you. Oh. 
Awesome, okay. Got any heals? I'm in the zone. He is in the blue. Oh, we got you too. Oh, Kobe! Woo! Clutch! Solo versus squads. There we have it. Kaboom! With the win there. Congrats, man. Good tips for the. Holy new crap. <laughs> that was clutch, bro. You made oh people believers. God. You've made people believers. <laughs> That was amazing.